Last night, you met our own Chris Welty's grandparents learning to cope with a debil debilitating disease. Alzheimer's is a type of dementia affecting memory, thinking, and behavior. Symptoms usually develop slowly and worsen over time, becoming severe enough to interfere with daily tasks. One out of three seniors die with Alzheimer's or another type of dementia. Tonight, another personal report. Chris Welty looks for hope for those living with Alzheimer's and their families. I would like to see him get better, but I know it's, that's not going to happen. My grandmother, Marie Smith, has come to terms with Papa Jimmy's deteriorating health. He's 82 years old and first showed signs of Alzheimer's eight years ago. We're just one of more than five million families dealing with Alzheimer's, and it isn't easy. I say a prayer every night that God watches over him. The earlier the onset, the more rapid the progression. So people who develop dementia in their 50s have a much more difficult and rapid decline. The older you are in developing it, the course is a little bit more gradual. Women are more likely to inherit Alzheimer's than men. But whether you're a man or a woman, by 85, you have a 50% chance of having Alzheimer's. The disease is believed to have strong genetic ties. If you have a first degree relative, such as, you know, a parent with Alzheimer's dementia, you have a four time increased risk. Billions of dollars are spent researching what causes Alzheimer's, including clinical studies and experimental medicine, but still no cure. There are ways patients like Papa Jimmy can manage his disease. Currently, there are five FDA approved drugs to treat symptoms temporarily helping memory and thinking in about half of the people who take them. If you have good care and you get on medication early because time is brain, mm -hmm. then you're not as likely to decompensate or die as quickly. Momo, like many others desperate to find a cure, wishes it would come easier and faster. Give me what they have and, and let's see what will happen with him, you know. We'll take anything. Anyone who has this burden would feel that way sooner or later. They can come up with a cure. Life changes forever with Alzheimer's, and people who have it usually live with it for 10 to 15 years before dying. People with dementia will gradually lose the ability to swallow or speak or walk, so they die from those complications. More than a year ago, Papa had a series of strokes and experienced some of those complications. He almost died twice in the hospital before his health miraculously improved. Though Papa's Alzheimer's is in the advanced stages, my family remains hopeful. I'll never give up hope. As long as I have him, I'll take care of him. They've been through the ups and downs of 61 years of marriage, but the greatest challenge is still ahead. In New Orleans, Chris Welty, KETC TV3. Well, Dr. Sylvia Rojas says it's important for the caretaker to take breaks and get out of the house. She says caring for someone with Alzheimer's can take a toll on the caregiver's health as well. Families should talk about wills and living wills while loved ones can still comprehend and make decisions. Stay with us, everyone. We'll be right back. I'm Chris Wartell. Here's what's making headlines in Friday's edition of the Daily Advertiser, a full roundup of school graduations all around Acadiana, plus taking a tour of some of